Good morning guys. Happy 4th of July. I know I look like a mess right now. Um, I woke up at 7 this morning and I was like, wait, today Texas Threads is having 50% off. So I was like, I should take advantage of that. So I just got ready real quick. I was like, you know what, I'm not even gonna try to be cute. I'm just gonna go comfy because honestly, today all I had planned was to just edit my video. So I didn't even wanna put on makeup or like anything because I didn't wanna feel gross. So I just like throw on this t-shirt that I thrifted last week. Very 4th of July, Snoopy. We're just gonna get in there. It is packed. I think they opened up early because of the sale. I thought they were gonna open at nine, but that is not the case. So hopefully we can still find some stuff. Feeling good about this. I'm sensing good energy. So let's get inside. It is rainy today. I honestly don't remember them putting the clothes in this huge bag. Let's do a little haul of the clothes from Texas Thrift. It was so packed. Um, There's no carts, so I couldn't put my camera down and like film and it was just chaotic. The line was all the way to the end of the store. I was in line for 40 minutes. 23 items and it came out to $77. I saved $71. First we have this strapless tank top. This was in the swim section, but it could still be like a cute everyday top or it could be a swim top if you wanted it to. I feel like these type of tops right now are selling because it's, you know, summertime. Next is this simple New York and company brown maxi skirt. I just thought this is a cute like street wear vibe and it's pink. It says, I'm a hard habit to break. It has ruching on the side. And I don't know, it's just a cute casual shirt. This shirt I wasn't sure about, but I was like, you know what, let's just take it. It looks a little too like eh, up here. It's because it was sewn on. I'm about to make this look a lot better. But yeah, so I'm just gonna take out this and I feel like it's gonna be a sleigh. Okay, there you go. It opened up a lot more on top. There you go. Oh, wait. Are you like too high? That's better. Here we have it. This is a size eight. I don't know, it just gives cute flowy ruffle vibe. Ruffles are like really in right now. And it has a side tie. Then we have this midi skirt that still had the tags. Stretchy, cute. I loved the print. Maxi skirt, also stretchy, love. Here's another swim top. I like the double strap and the colors are slay. It's a neon hibiscus print. So apparently slip dresses are coming back in style for like streetwear. I found this pretty cream slip dress and it had nice like embroidered floral to it. And on the bottom, then we have this Victoria's Secret cami top. Top or like mini dress. I feel like this looks super cute with like a black mini skirt since it like opens in the front. Very pretty. Another swim top. This one's strapless. I'm imagining this with a black maxi skirt. Next, we have this early 2000s dress. Mini dress. Pink. Is it paisley print? This dress gave me realization par vibes with the print. Um, it is a maxi length, I believe. I actually really love this print. We have this vintage Robbie B top. It is more on the sheer side. This I got for myself. It reminded me of the Lululemon Align tops. It does not have a brand on it. The quality is like actually good. Oh my God, look, this is a fit right here. Since I recently discovered that Old Navy has some pretty good workout stuff, I found these Old Navy biker shorts. I love a biker short with like a tee. Another swim top, I was like iffy about this, but I just ended up taking it. I think it's cute for the summer. Early 2000s, my Michelle 
halter dress and the halter is like has this really unique crochet beaded it's a medium and it has like gold shimmers in it ruching on the side and the back bodycon fit on top and flowy asymmetric fairy bottom we have this halter top it is by chaps i found this gray cotton material maxi skirt just for a casual outfit i want to start wearing like skirts more and just not wear jeans and denim shorts every day and lastly i found this nike hoodie i am in love with this color i don't know i've been into like neons lately and i absolutely love i gotta put this in the wash so i can like wear it already but yeah that is all that i got now i'm gonna start doing packages let me know if this part of the video of me showing like what sold and for how much if it's getting repetitive or do you guys like enjoy that part of the video so that i can continue doing it because i don't know i'm just feeling like it's getting repetitive so let me know in the comments how you guys feel like do you like this part i don't know let me know we have this gorgeous early 2000s dress i sold for 35 dollars this dress was from last week's video and i sold it for 34 dollars it's like about to rain actually i think it's raining this floral halter i sold for 30 dollars another halter dress i love the shimmers in it i sold it for 31 dollars this victoria's secret maxi dress i sold for 35 dollars these insane early 2000s patchwork jeans i sold for 45 dollars this silky cami top i sold for 27 dollars this beaded tube top i sold for 28 dollars Next is this vintage bikini set. I sold for $35. The print, the colors, I love it. This green maxi skirt, I sold for $31. This early 2000s midi skirt, I sold for $29. We have this midi dress, I sold for $35. We have this crochet mini skirt, I sold for $26. The last thing for Depop are these pink converse that I've had. For a while they personally were mine i thrifted them a while back but it's time to give them a new home i wasn't really wearing them that much and i sold them for 60 dollars then i have two other items this one i sold on poshmark and i sold it for 25 dollars and this fairy floral mini dress i sold for 23 dollars on macari i like just finished and it's pouring rain right now found me thrift last week found me thrift did me dirty and i only found like three things i'm honestly so tired I, I dropped off my packages went to the gym and i just honestly i woke up feeling just tired and i feel like the weather is kind of gloomy and just like i just feel like chilling i'm wearing my cute old navy set that i got last week i was dropping off my packages and a girl was like oh my gosh where did you get your set because it's so cute and i was like oh old navy and the top was literally four dollars i didn't talk like that so i'm excited honestly to just get in bed and relax so let's get this thrift trip done with i decided to look at the skirts first and on my way there i found this baby fat tube top i love the funky floral print i am literally obsessed with this skirt it is vintage robbie b then we have this simple brown maxi skirt. In the lingerie section, I found this early 2000s Victoria's Secret lace slip dress. I like the different color lace on the bottom. Next, we have this floral silky slip dress. In the purses today, I found this initial A purse. I thought it was in good condition, but I realized that the zipper was messed up, so I didn't take this. I did put it on my Instagram story so y'all can let me know if I should take it or not because I couldn't decide. The dress aisle has been my favorite aisle recently. 
We have this floral maxi dress and it was interesting because it could also be inside out and be a different floral print if you wanted it to. It had side slits. It was just a cute summer maxi dress. Next was this early 2000s midi halter dress. It is by the brand La Belle. Then we have this guest jeans patchwork mini dress. It reminded me more of like beach wear. Then we have this strapless maxi dress. These style dresses always do well in my Depop. But I have bad news about this one, you will see later in this video. A similar style dress, this one had pockets in the front. I thought the ombre color was cool. This dress gave me Marilyn Monroe vibes. It was an early 2000s silky midi halter dress. This dress I wasn't sure about, it was giving candy cane Christmas vibes, so I passed. Then I found this strapless jumpsuit, very different. It looked like a dress, but it had pants. It was giving chic, so I definitely took this. And here I am pretending that I read. This is what my cart looked like at the end, and this is what I ended up not taking. This dress wasn't in the best quality, and I didn't take this skirt. I have never finished like a chapter book ever like in my life. Now that I have alone time, I have been lately been like, you know what? I kind of feel like reading a book, which is like so not me. In my head, I'm like, okay, yeah, you're gonna get a book, but then you're not gonna finish it because I have this thing where I just lose interest really quick. I am like that even with TV shows. If they're like really long and there's like seasons already done, I will not finish them. I just won't finish it. The new season of The Summer I Turned Pretty is coming out this month, and I'm excited about that. Yeah, I just lose interest really quick. That's the story of that. So I need a really good book. You know, when people say like, OMG, oh, I couldn't put this book down. It was so good. Like, I want to feel that. I put on my story for y'all to like recommend a book to me that, you know, I won't get bored of. I'm ready to take pictures, don't mind the hair. I also like to just put a quick lippy on. I always use, this is my holy grail. No one talks about these. It's the Maybelline Super Stay. I use the shade Reach High. It's This is like the closest color to my natural lip color. I'm actually intrigued with this book. So far, I'm feeling good about it. I feel like I might actually finish this book. Not me just on chapter two saying that, but still. And to finish my lip, I have the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. First top is this baby fat tube top. Super cute. Okay, I think I'm changing my hairstyle. I don't think I like it. I don't know. I just don't want it to look like Dora. You know what I mean? I'm like so done with my hair. I just want to go 